I'm going to do today a uh, video on replacing the or flushing the power steering fluid. I did a video on that years and years ago when I first started this channel, actually. Um, but when I did it then, I just uh, um, pumped out the existing fluid from the tank using a little uh, plastic pump like this, which works fine. But um, a slightly more complete way of doing it is to use the uh, drain hose, which is provided. Um, which you'll find uh, down um, right at the steering rack itself. You can uh, drain out the old fluid that way. And um, doing so, you can uh, flush um, the system out a little bit better. In my case, I was actually replacing this time the entire rack itself. So I had everything down there disconnected. Um, but you can use this technique to do a more complete flush in any case. So in this video, the steering is disconnected. Uh, just ignore that. But if you were to look in at the steering rack from the side, you can see the steering fluid hose, which comes down from the pump. Now, what you can see there is actually this uh, sort of 10 or 12 inch hose to nowhere, which branches off the supply hose at the rack. And it's clipped up out of the way uh, to the supply hose. And um, from underneath, you can just reach up and unclip it by hand and pull it down. You'll see it's uh, terminated with a simple drain plug, which is held in place with a hose clamp. Now, the hose clamp is a uh, factory special, but if you're careful, you can reuse it. The right size of a flat blade screwdriver will allow you to lever it open. If you mangle it, uh, you'll have to replace it with a, uh, a typical screw band clamp type. Um, but if you get it off in one piece, then put it aside somewhere safe. And then the uh, plug can be taken out. Um, put an oil drain pan below, obviously. Uh, I just broke the seal with a pocket knife, just going around the edges, and uh, then it eventually just pulled out fairly easily. And then the fluid will drain from the pump tank uh, completely. Now, this gets you to the same point pumping out the tank would, uh, except the hose is now also drained. You could now replace the plug and continue as before. Uh, this factory clip, by the way, if you reuse it, just uh, clips itself back together with the help of a pair of pliers or grips. Uh, try to place the clip back in the same position it was before, uh, otherwise the rubber, if it's as old as mine, might not seal again properly. If you're worried about flushing the system out properly though, uh, for example your pump has died, um, or like me the rack has died, you might find that there are bits of hardware, you know, metal bits, uh, floating around in the fluid. Now, in this case, you want to try to flush the separate halves of the system. So here you saw me put the drain plug back in, but I've disconnected the entire hose assembly from the rack. Now, I've done this because I'm replacing the rack, but uh, you could go this far to clean out the pump side um, without pushing contaminated fluid through the rack. Now, the idea is to just point the pump side hose at the drain pan and put fresh fluid in the pump from the top and run a tank full through. Now, as with the old method, uh, you'll need to disconnect the return hose uh, to redirect the old fluid that's still in the rack and the return side, you know, and stop it refilling the tank. Um, at this point, it's disconnected at the rack, though, so uh, that won't happen yet. But you'll need to do it later anyway, and, um, you know, I don't want the new fluid mixing at all with the old. So take the return hose off the, uh, you know, tank, which is now empty, and just put a pair of pliers, uh, that's enough to action the spring clamp uh, and then the hose will just pull off. Uh, and then you need to block up the hose nozzle, the, you know, the hole there at the bottom of the tank. A rubber plug, you know, something that fits would be ideal for that. I'm using Bluetack here and I do not recommend that because it went a bit funny in reaction, with, um, in reaction to the power steering fluid. And I uh, had a bit of a time cleaning it out, so don't do that. Um, anyway, then fill up the tank with uh, new fluid to the top, as much as you can get in, basically, and then start the engine. And you want to let it run for like literally a second or so, no more. Uh, that's enough for the pump to empty the tank. Now, you could also disconnect the crank sensor on the engine and just crank the engine uh, by its starter without it firing. Uh, that would turn the pump over slowly and with a bit more control. But either way, you see that's emptied the tank again. Now you could do that multiple times if you uh, really want to try flushing it out good. Um, if there is a lot of contamination, though, you, you might be at the point where you really need to replace the hose, um, depending on what's failed and how bad it is. 
There is a filter in the steering pump tank, uh, which you replace by replacing the tank itself, uh, which is a separate part number. If you want to see how to do that, then um, see my video on replacing the actual pump itself, because it's part of that process. In any case, uh, once ready, the line connects back to the rack, um, if you've disconnected it like me. The, the torque specification on this screw here is 23 Newton meters, and you're also re advised to replace the O-rings, uh, but mine look fine, so I've just reused them. Then refill the tank once again with fresh fluid, uh, you'll, and you'll see that drink bottle there. I've snaked the return hose into it. So now I'll be flushing the remainder of the old fluid in the system um, out through that. So then you just repeat the engine start or crank again only for a second or so because the pump tank will um, run empty quickly and you don't want it to run dry. Um, keep refilling the tank with new fluid and what you also need to do is turn the steering from lock to lock to get new fluid in both sides of the rack. If you don't do this, um, then the left and right chambers of the rack will remain undisturbed with old fluid uh, for the most part. Um, and if you've installed a new rack like me, then they'll just be empty. They'll just have air in them. So um, this is all the more important because it's to bleed the air out. And you need to do it in that case quite a few times, maybe up to 20. Um, although I wouldn't say it necessary to do all of that you know, before putting the return hose back on. Now, if your old fluid is dirty, then uh, it would be easier because you'll be able to see when the new bright red stuff starts coming through. So, you know, once it stops being dark and black, um, at that point, you can stop refilling. Let the tank drain out one final time uh, and then take out the plug and reattach the return hose. And then fill the tank one more time, this time to the correct uh, max level that's marked on it. And you should be done. Now again, if you uh, had a new rack, you might need to do a few more locks, uh, lock to locks to finalize bleeding. Uh, but anyway, that there's all the steering fluid replaced. So check the level over the next week or so. Uh, check for new leaks everywhere you disconnected things. But um, yeah, otherwise that's all done. All right. Hope that was helpful. Have fun.